Joshua Youngblood, who is a receiver, and the running backs like Salam. That's Aaron Cruikshank, who is dangerous with the ball in his hands. Drew Stevens, the talented freshman kicker, will send it deep. And we are underway here from Piscataway, New Jersey. Cruikshank drops the snap, will retrieve it, and will kneel it down. 40, 266 yards and two touchdowns. Doesn't have an interception. You know he is going to be accurate when he throws the football. First handoff goes to Manungai, who gets the lion's share of the carries of what has become a three-headed monster in the backfield, even without, not just when the opposing offense is on the field, special teamers are getting the job done as well. First throw for Simon. He's got time. He lost it to the sideline. Incomplete, out of bounds, looking for Young. Again, and a good sign for this Iowa defense. Justin Jacobs, the linebacker, number five, in the game, missed the last couple of weeks after sustaining an injury week one. Third and seven. Simon, under pressure, complete. That's a first down. He found the ten. Van S having a little meeting at the quarterback. That is a huge conversion. Another handoff. This time is going to go up the gut for a couple more yards. Watch. The Iowa defense coming off its first shutout since 2019. They've got six of them since 2016. And we've got an early flag. It's so difficult to keep them in front. And penalties like that can be a result. So a second and 12, they send out Salam to the outside. Simon will let it fly. And again, it's Langan with another completion across the 40. Hope in pass protection, Monungai 23 and 21 Langan. Monungai who's got a lot of power as a runner. Third down and seven. Deep shot for Simon. It's hauled in. Shamin Jones out of 33-yard gain. Here's a first down. They got Brown, the freshman, in there, and then a drop from Langan. That was a forward pass. It'll be in goes away. And at the same time, if we lose this game, it's not the end of the world. We've got a long Big Ten schedule, but boy, it'd be good to win. Salam, fake the handoff. Simon goes right up the middle with blockers in front. Spills forward right at the 10-yard line. They'll mark him down the huddle. Play clock down to one, and they get it off in time. Langan's going to take the snap, hand it off Manungai, who wiggles his way through that initial surge and picks up two or at quarterback. Manungai stays in there at the back. Second down and eight. Simon sets, fires, incomplete. A little bit too high for Shamim. Conversions on this opening drive. Simon, quick drop, quick throw for the end zone. Incomplete. He was looking for Eric. Seven on the season, missed from 38 last week, and we've got movement up front. Won't be enough for a first down. We'll, we'll definitely make Coach Shano at least consider it, but I would imagine he just want to put points on the board in this situation, feel good about this opening drive. Offside, defense number 37 calls him the offensive player to move. Five yard penalty still. Communication, five seconds here. Crookshank in motion. And they didn't get it off. Yeah, Crookshank has to get over and get set right there. Snap infraction. Mm. Offense number 57. Five yard penalty. Did and hit. One field goal from inside 30 this season. And this kick is good. First score allowed against Nevada. We'll tell you exactly why that was the case as this drive gets underway. This one's going to be fielded by Caleb Johnson, the freshman. He's got a lot of speed, and he's got blockers in front. A space on the sideline, and he's dumped down after he crosses the field of these conference games. Let's see what he has here to start the season. Petrus rolling and connecting with Laporta. That's his go-to target. Picks up unfinished business. Potabal is in there at the fullback, and we've got a flag as they were going to hang. Gavin Williams will be the running back on first down and 15. Delayed handoff. Williams stutter step and not a whole lot of room. So a second down and 15 after no game. Petrus. A bullet, and he missed his target. Laporta eased this for this defense, so they would be prepared for this. A third and 15 for Iowa. Petrus lets it fly, dumps it off for Williams, and he's got nowhere to go. Barely gets across midfield at an early, and that's to pin him at the two, which he does a lot. Taylor lets this one go. High booming kick. And the fair catch is going to be made just inside the five. Parker's been doing this a long time and at a very high level. 
Langdon's going to take this first snap from basically the goal line and push the pile forward past the five, being a little bit of high school coach. Nunzio Campanelli is actually the tight ends coach now here at Rutgers. We'll take another snap. This time he's going to hand it out. And oh, bouncing to the outside for a first down. That's a great carry for Downs. Al Shadi Salam, the speedster at running back, will have this carry. He is popped, but gets away from one tackler. Justin Jacobs says, I'm not missing a second time for the first three weeks. Salam stays in there, but it's going to be Simon to throw. He dumps it off to his running back. Salam cannot escape. He was trying to shake Jack Campbell, but the captain. The Nung guy back in there. Young blood, the man in motion. Simon feels the pressure. Hit as he throws. Intercepted. There he is, Cooper DeGene. And he's got some space in front. DeGene still on his feet across the 25. DeGene is going to take it for a pick six. He's done it again. Touchdown, Iowa. Oh, there it is from Phil Parker. That's that's the design, the pass rush. It's a four-man rush. Simon took a shot. You can see Van Ness adding to the rush and lights him up. The Gene bails out from his corner position and then just makes a play. We'll talk about it later. Stevens with the extra point and Iowa defense rules supreme in Piscataway. I was like main issue on all of that is the pressure on the pass. Simon fakes the handoff. He's got a man open in the middle, and he completes another one to Shamin Jones, who takes a couple. Rutgers program all re renovated this summer. Uh, Simon will drop back again, feeling the pressure, dumps it off, and Brown makes an acrobatic catch, but doesn't have much this year, has just returned from injury. Going to put Langan in motion. Third and short. Handed off Brown, and he puts the head down. He's got the yardage. First down, Scarlet Knights. Haven't seen Salam break one out yet, but he is more than capable. He's in there for first and ten. Swing it to Salam and another drop. He could feel. Send Salam to the outside on second and ten. A laser and another catch for Johnny Langan. Spill and Piscataway. Third and six. Simon, deep drop. Simon over the top of the defense. Tipped and incomplete. Langan had a touchback since November 30th of 2019, and that one was on purpose. He is as impressive and consistent as they come, and he's going to force a fair catch right in front of the 20. Has continued with his team, has to also be overjoyed the way his defense has set up his offense here. And it's going to be an early handoff for Caleb Johnson, the star of last week's win over Nevada. Now, don't, don't say 40, that. 40, offense number 70. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. <laughs> he was a Hearts player, and the, the guys were Spades players. This is going to be a fake handoff and an incomplete pass. Immediate penetration. Second down and 14. Laporta in motion. Handoff Johnson. Busted to the outside across the 20 and spilled out of bounds. Nice hit on Williams. The running back missed last week's game due to personal reasons. Petrus feeling the pressure. Petrus escapes. And Petrus doesn't come holding in six points on the Cooper DeGene interception. Cookshank back to her seat, nearly a block, just came close, may have been tipped, but a nice Iowa bounce gets it across the 40 and will be down at the 80 that they can run away and punt on the run, and that does help them in trying to avoid some of those blocks. Early run on first down, Sandy. Hey. Rutgers right back to work to start this second quarter. It's a play action, and Simon will dump it right back to his running back, Brown, who tried to make one man miss and couldn't situation. Kyle Manungai will be the running back, laying in the man in motion. Third down and three. Simon fires too high. He one knew what COVID-19 was. <laughs> Flat comes down on this one. A running punt from Korzak is going to be fair. Caught just outside the 10. Asking coach, looks like they're asking coach Ferentz whether the legal formation by the kicking team. Number zero was covered, uncovered himself during the kick. That five-yard penalty will be added on to the end of the kick. Media timeout. Turnover 
in 18 of their last 25 games, getting back to 2020. Williams is going to get the carry, wiggling through that line, picking up six. Football lost his father a little over a week ago, and we'll see what he's got here, pushing the pile forward, and he's got the first down. Potterbaum and Williams will stay in there on this first down. Fake it to Williams. Petrus with a lot of time. Zips one for another first down. Laporta. How is he? And Laporta. A little bit of rhythm here. Johnson's going to stay in as the back. Or get in there. The freshman, he broke a couple of them last week and nearly had another. Scholarship check or NIL or whatever it is at this point. <laughs> Caleb. Oh, Rutgers already with the interception. Iowa has been clean. They've won 18 straight without a turnover. Lachey in motion, Williams the running back. They fake it to him. Petrus goes down. Quick against Nevada. Nevada bringing a ton of pressure. Petrus empty. Petrus complete. Lashawn Williams. And he is leveled across midfield. To 13. Bruce in motion. Petrus. Dumps it off, Gavin Williams. A lot of room to work with, but not nearly enough. Deion Times is the best offense for Iowa. Torrey Taylor in this zone has been unstoppable. And he lets another one fly. It is going to be another one that bounces inside the 10 and near. Rutgers offense back on the field. They've got a Limo, the tight end in there. And they've got Kyle Manungai, the running back. They'll hand it off to Manungai, who squeezes his way through. Manungai will stay in there. Simon will keep. Simon will loft. Incomplete. Knocked away at a dangerous ball. Isaiah Watt. Third and five. Simon. Quick throw. Quick catch and a first down and more. Joshua Long blood and the ball is out. Fumble is scooped up. And there's a lot of space and another touchdown. Kayvon Merriweather. The scoop and score for the Hawkeyes. And there it is again. You see young blood. You think it's a first and ten. And then Castro out of the bullpen, probably in because Terry Roberts and a shuffle around. Kayvon Merriweather doing his thing. An opportunity. And make this an 11 point game. And Stevens does exactly that. That they're being ready to go. His number was called. Kayvon Merriweather said, I'll take that to the house. Simon stays in there, hands it off for Salam, who was met immediately by in there at running back. Simon. Kirkshank. He's got speed. A weapon with a ball in his hands. Kirkshank stays on his feet across the 40. Finally time. And now we've got Langan at quarterback. Little yes. trickery. They're going to get the end around to Jones. And it was sniffed out, read like a book. Want to come back, and apparently, according to Phil Parker and the entire staff, he's worked harder than ever this year. Swing it to the running back, Samuel Brown, and he dives forward near mid. 5-54 and counting. It's a third and six. Simon steps up, jump pass, quick shank, no hit to run. Track down from Bob. Let's see what Korzak has here. Another running delivery for DeGene, who's going to let this one bounce at the 15. And boy, Korzak can put it wherever he wants on the field. Let's it roll. We got to experience it. Second game that that has been in action. And I got to say, it was perfect. I think they did a physical dude for this offense. Second and seven. It's going to be a handoff for Johnson. Nice. Running game is starting to really yeah. fire itself up. First down carry for Johnson. Patiently waits for the hole to develop, and Izian comes this week. First 100-yard game for Iowa freshman since Tyler Goodson in 2019 was off to the NFL. And Johnson just adding to his tally. Falls upon the scheme as well. Great execution. Remember, Iowa gets the kickoff to start the second half after deferring. That's a great defensive play. Good pressure as Ruck. Two tight ends, Laporta and Lachey, both in motion. Williams, the running back. It's going to be Petros to throw. 
Petrius, complete, fitted in the window for Lachey, and a first down for the Hawkeye. And all from the confidence of that Iowa defense. Johnson. Stood out, picks up three. And have to suffocate this run game. Approaching a minute to play in his first half. Petrus, deep drop. Petrus lets it fly. He's got it. Sam Laporta streaking down the side. Catch with AZ Young bearing down. 42 yards through the air. Now Johnson on the ground. Spun down, shy of the 10. Game. Bruce in motion. Fake the handoff. Petrus with plenty of time. Fires end zone. Incomplete. He was lucky to stay in this game. Third and nine. Petrus. Rolls. Petrus. Tucks. And Petrus is leveled. It'll be including a 43 yarder against Nevada. This one to make it a two touchdown game is good. Seven, seven of the best deep balls he's ever seen. And that last one, he dropped it right in the breadbasket of Sam Laporta. This one's going to be taken out by Crutchin. And he is absolutely devoured. The locker room. Simon will knee it down. And after Iowa had one first down sting from McAtomney on this kickoff, there was a little bit of a shift, a little bit of misdirection, but it will be a return as this one is taken out by Johnson. And Johnson stumbles forward down to the 35 flag. During the return, Cody, number 46 of the receiving team. Jenny Cody from the end of the run. First down. Florida. And Sean Williams will be the running back to start this series, and he'll get that first down carry. Cuts up field across the 30, down to the 30. It's off the turnovers. Second and short, carry for Williams up the middle and the stutter step crosses the 40 to the 41. Challenge these guys clearly at halftime. We're gonna move this front from Rutgers. Gonna right in the gut of Williams. He pushed forward. Williams looking to break away is tracked down from behind by Brown. Now Gavin Williams. It's been a three-headed monster in the backfield for Iowa. Fake it to Williams. Petrus rolling, lofting, and Laporta's got a lot of space. Sam Laporta, another first down for the Hawkeyes. He's seven himself, including that 42-yard catch towards the end of the first half. He'll go in motion of the backfield here. Hand off Gavin Williams, patiently waiting and leveled from behind, derailed in his tracks. Well, it was Williams who got his first career start. And a big physical running back. Did his job well. Petrus a dart. It's Lachey this time. The other tight end gets inside the 10. And also still confidence. Another 20-yard shot with a pitch. Lashawn Williams. And he is dragged backward. Frustrating is you know where they're lined up. They know you know where they're lined up. And they've still scored two defensive touchdowns on him. Play action pass. Petrus is engulfed. A if you're a Scarlet Knight fan. Petrus, lofting end zone. Petrus, incomplete, but a flag. It was in the direction of Laporte. That was a catchable pass interference. Defense That's number six. By rule, the ball we placed at the two yard line. Automatic first down. So pass interference in the. Audubon and Williams, the two running backs. Handoff, LaShawn Williams. He's got it. Touchdown, Iowa. Second of the season for Williams, and the Hawkeyes take a stranglehold on this game. Just a great job up front, and then LaShawn Williams, watch him press it. They get great movement front side, press it, sell it, and cut it back, and he's not down and touch football right there on a two-yard run. Drew Stevens comes on for the point after. Freshman has been consistently... Simon at quarterback, who's had a couple of bright spots, but he has taken some massive hits in the backfield. Crookshank's going to take this one. And Crookshank is to... Is playing with a totally different style, a totally different... Uh, you know, you're playing house money at that point. Oh, Johnny Langan is... Guy, the running back. Simon. 
Another tough hit, and he delivers a strike over the middle. A completion for a first down. And if anybody was questioning Evan Simon's toughness, yeah. just run the tape from tonight. Hand off for Brown. And he bursts forward. Go in there at tight end. And another handoff for Brown, pushing the pile. Comes up two yards shy. Three more. Take the handoff, lining it up the gut. Bouncing off of his own offensive lineman, and he couldn't get any field goal. Lining it. Handoff. Manungai. Looks like he got there. That should move the stick. Guy, a Don Bosco, Kyle that is, Don Bosco product, both excellent programs. And it will be Brown this time, who finds a lot of space, and Brown into Hawkeye territory, spun down. I think Jack Campbell just missed the tackle. Oh, 18-yard pickup just down, first down, and another throw, another interception. This time it's Merriweather, his second takeaway of the day. And he is into Scarlet Knight territory. Chopped down at the 45. Third turnover of the day, forced by the Iowa defense. And another mental mistake by Simon. Just, just not, not a great decision here by Evan Simon. Merriweather comes off that cutter. Great position. Riley Moss could have had a chance at it too. Another big turnover for the Hawkeyes. Evan Simon gets him to the ground. Great instincts from Kayvon Merriweather. First multi-interception game of the career of Evan Simon. His first two on the season as well. And here's a first down carry with a lot of physicality. Doing great things tonight. Another handoff for Gavin Williams. And he blows the shoulder. Flag does come. Illegal formation by the offense. More than four in the backfield. Five-yard pony from the previous spot. Second down. Pretty experienced. This is another illegal formation. There you go. Got to get somebody on the line of scrimmage up top. Now Laporta reset. There's seven on the line. You're good. And it's going to result in a Gavin Williams handoff, and he is sniffed out in the backfield. Iowa looks like they're on their way to getting it done. Ragaini is in motion. But Petrus goes the other way, and probably a smart move, although it will fall. Your high 69-yard punt at Iowa State. And this one more of a line drive. It's going to result in another fair catch by Aaron. In the NFL, mostly with the Dolphins, Washington, the Bucks, the Oilers, the Niners. All this to say, he was a legend, and it opened Ferentz's eyes to how important a great punter could be and how helpful a great punter could be to a successful team. As so Right, that, the princes of punting. I said the fresh, fresh, prince, the oh, fresh princes of punting to me was the natural thing, and Sean Ryan vacuums in that. Yes. It might not be pot of bomb level with the moulet, but you know that Tory Taylor will stay in there on first down. Simon, have to get it away from the pressure and will wisely throw that one away in the general. Was driving into Iowa territory before Simon's last interception of Merriweather. Steps up in the pocket, dangerous pass is going to fall. It's to fight another day. Third and ten. The young guy in there at running back. Simon, with time. Course complete, but it's short of the sticks. Isaiah Washington, fourth down and three towards the end of this third quarter. Simon, over the middle, it's caught. First down and more. Jones with another big... Simon will stay in the air. Simon trying to tuck and run, and he is tripped up down low. And top down and make them earn every inch. Simon. Takes another hit, and this time it's going to be incomplete in the interception. Personal foul. Oh, late one here. Roughing the passer. Defense number 85. Driving the quarterback into the ground. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic. First down. And off to the side and not plant the shoulder, collarbone, etc. of what could happen to that QB. Simon lets it fly. Complete over the middle. Another completion for Ryan. Evading a couple of tacklers, and... Taken down, but a first and second. Then he got it again. Brown up the gut, runs into a wall after a pickup of three. In this game, man, it, it feels weird, but three score game. 
Simon. A dart to the outside. Caught by Shaw, 24 unanswered. And now the Scarlet Knights start with a third and three to begin this fourth quarter. Simon, another lefty completion, this time to Shaw. Journey saw uh, Don't stop believing. Don't stop believing here. Well, Rutgers is going to hope to get into the end zone quickly. Take the hand off and then a little bit behind. Anything you don't love, dirt it. The one guy in motion. Simon fires. Complete. Gets it to the outside. That time Crookshank on a third and four. Send out Manunga. Simon. A strike. Incomplete. There was Manunga. Simon feels the pressure. Fading away. Incomplete. Langan was there. But a little bit. Three different guys have started one game. <laughs> Caleb Johnson with the early carry. And that's what they're trying to build and, and get going again. Dangerous, dangerous throw. It was in the area of Nico family. For, for three plus years, for four or five years at this point, they've been calling him Nico Regani. Another completion, this time going to go to Arlen Bruce, short of the sticks, mm -hmm. and Liuzzi's in North Haven, Connecticut. It's prosciutto, fresh mozzarella, tomato, oil, vinegar on Italian bread, and packed them up real nice for representative at Big Ten Media Day for the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. I can't remember the last time a punter was a team rep like that. Simon buys his time. Oh, what a throw! He found Lang and nobody was within 10 feet of him. And that time Seth Benson just passed him to nobody. Gains 31 and then gains a whole lot more. Crookshank over. Again, the Iowa offense has only put up 10. As that one's a little too high. Air mails. Three plays to advance the chains. Obviously, Emmett will score a touchdown if you're a record fan. Simon. Evades. Simon fires. Oh, what a hit! Oh, is that picked up? No, it's dropped. Down and 10. Play clock winding down here. And they get it off. Simon looking end zone. Oh, it's brought in! Aaron Crookshank. Incredible effort. Touchdown, Rutgers. He beats Riley Moss. And just like that, the Knights have life. Don't stop believing. That's best on best again, Crookshank. Their best against the All-American Riley Moss. Uh, just a little bit better throw this time than the one last time. Moss is in a similar position. And just great. Once it, once it goes to zero, the back judge looks at the snap. And if it's not an immediate or right subsequent to it, that's snap. But the play clock, unless it's an obvious mistake, the play clock cannot be corrected by a replay. All right, Dean, thanks so much for the season. At the time, would extend it to a three-score game, back to a two-score game, and Williams will get this first carry. Bottled up after a gain of one. Let those two arise if you're a Hawkeye. Second and nine. Williams. Nowhere to run. You see the linebacker line up right in the A-gap. He's 22 power. Petrus, quick throw. Williams has space in front. First down and more out of bounds. It'll be Gavin Williams in the game for the Hawkeyes in the backfield. Hand it off to him. Williams bounce it to the other side. Being chased by pretty much the entire defense. Second and five. Laporta in motion. Back to Williams. Seam opens up. Williams into the secondary upended across the 40. And now it is LaShawn Williams back in the backfield. Petrus handoff. Williams stutter step. Keeps the legs churning. Big gain on first. Second down and two. Porta in motion. Williams runs into a wall and will come up. Third one. Swing it. Johnson, he didn't get there. What a play in the backfield made by Deion Jennings. For Drew Stevens. Stevens, kick on the way. Oh, it hit the upright and goes in. In Trent, New Jersey in 1856 by 
John Taylor. Basically, it's this hybrid between bacon and ham, and it is wonderful. Another great throw by Simon. Find the best way to describe it to people who don't understand exactly what this situation is entailing as Simon will go back to the air and find Crookshank again after his impressive touchdown catch. Band-Aid's technically the brand, but you call it a Band-Aid. As you can tell, I'm very passionate yes. about the subject. First yes. catch for Matt Alimo, who had missed the first half, and below, probably calls it pork roll. Above, in northern New Jersey, you're calling it Taylor Ham. Oh, what a nice throw! Simon finds Sean. The lid was off of that official. Quick one behind Samuel Brown. And a to the pass, holding. Offense number 51. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. Side of the 30. Langan goes in motion, and Simon's going to have to let it rip. And this time, Simon is absolutely devoured. Then he adds himself back into the mix of the pass rush. One of the most highly recruited defensive linemen ever to come to Iowa, and has earned his spot in the rotation. Second and 44, and Simon's going backwards. Throws it away. Syracuse in some way, shape, or form. Jones in motion, third and forever for Simon. Yeah. Luffs, Langan, brought it down, but was... Here's your ball game for Rutgers. Simon takes another just massive hit, looks for the end zone, it's dropped. Would have been the... That was a pass. I was trying to alley-oop you, alley you, but I appreciate it. Caleb Johnson trying to dance around, loses. Typically has gotten enough. Spencer Petrus, 11 of 16, 148 yards on the day. More efficient running game, and Caleb... Opponents toward a, a Michigan team that, that struggled at times today, but finished the deal against Maryland. 39, Petrus incomplete, batted down at the line. Some other, you know, Australian... I cannot confirm Product. nor deny if they're any good. Meanwhile, Rucker is just going all out for the block and does not get it. Taylor sends it deep and it will go right out of bounds inside the there are a lot given the offensive struggles for these two teams through the first three weeks. But even without the volume, it's quality over quantity for both these guys. And look out, Simon, did he get out? He did just in time. Or sensation. Running play from an on guy. Bulldozes forward for three. Got a, got a mix. They're down in 12 for Sean Gleason's offense. Simon fakes the handoff. Danger zone. Simon lets it fly. Too far in front. He was. Sometimes you think he's about to take off and run, and then he just boots it 60 yards. This one very clean, and another solid one. Fair catch made just in front of the 45. Cooper DeGene brings it in. Uh, showing up at his old stomping grounds at Ohio State. And then possibly a little bit of a break before a couple, couple more teams that are playing can build on a ton of defensive set success again. But then that defensive success then bleeds through to this offensive unit that's going to leave with a much better taste in their mouth going up against uh, uh, a very highly touted Rutgers defense. Greg Schiano will let this clock dwindle down and meet his good friend Kirk Ferentz at midfield. Two long tenured coaches with immense respect for one another. But this battle goes to Ferentz and the Hawkeyes. The defense reigns supreme once again. Two defensive touchdowns for Iowa. Powers them to a 27-10 victory over Rutgers to start Big Ten play. Appreciate you watching College Football on FS1 here in Piscataway. Once again, Iowa 27, Rutgers 10. For Mark Helfrich, our entire Fox Sports crew, no Eagles saying so long as we send you back to L.A. for more College Football coverage.